Hello, my fellow creatives. Let's talk about motion. As we run down the vocabulary here, you will see that there are many techniques and that motion is full of tricks of the trade. Starting with the opposite of motion, stillness. Nonstop action can actually get pretty boring. Contrasting action with stillness gives your story rhythm and vitality. You were to watch Harakari, um, this fight scene, in order to understand the 180 degree rule. You'll notice if you watch the film that there is stillness, anticipated action, and also interspersed with the actual fight. You'll also notice in that scene that the camera moves and that camera motion accents the motion and the stillness of the characters in the fight scene. Motion is always pre-planned. The actors, maybe the environment moves like the grass in that scene, as well as the camera. So planned direction and speed of motion continues from that old timey black and white film into the worlds of games and video production today. Kinesthetic empathy is very interesting. Nightmare Mode of Help Wanted shows five players on the left that are in the game. One of them tilts with the gesture action of the head in the game, a player physically moving in relation to the game is in a state of kinesthetic empathy. Motion Blur was also a video that you were to watch. If you haven't watched it already, please watch it. Motion Blur comes to us from the animation techniques and it is useful in storyboard. A line of action also comes to us from animation. It's an exaggerated line that flows through the character sketches. It's often, first, it's often the first line drawn in an action pose and it captures the essence of the motion. Lines of action can be used to storyboard fight scenes and other very dynamic poses. Op art might surprise your users if they aren't expecting it. Is this piece moving? Is it animated? Moving pictures are actually a series of stills. A 3D finished project is full of carefully planned action. Professionals use storyboard drawings to plot out the motion of the characters and the cameras Suggest motion in a visual shorthand to translate into the action of your story. Thank you for watching. It's time for you to get in motion and find some exciting action to post to your blog. I look forward to seeing your examples.